I'm leaning on the lamppost, 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 lamppost. Hello and welcome to the Lamp Pod. It is me, Sam, and you, Neil. Hello. And this hello. is the thirty-second podcast. It is. It's been a while. We've it we took been, a yeah. what? What have we take? Two weeks off? Uh, two, Probably two, two weeks, weeks of like yeah. actual YouTube stuff. I mean, mm. we recorded whilst we were away. Yeah, the last yeah the last thing we recorded for this channel was that the, podcast. How long ago was that? About two weeks. About ago. About two weeks. Yeah. Probably two weeks ago today. Yeah, we basically just missed a Thursday. Yeah. So, which we're sorry about, but yeah, it's been six months. We just yeah, we, we we've done this. Not f- I mean, I was about to say flat out. But it's not like we've been like every day Tireless, tirelessly just. But just, yeah, we we've we've done one every Thursday. So yeah, yeah. we've we 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 took one off. Yeah. Um, if you I got a problem very... with that, <laughs> yeah, fuck you. <laughs> I look very tired because I've just woken up. Yeah, it's yeah. quite early. It's quite early. I've, I've forced Sam to. Because Neil's got his shit together in life and he's doing stuff. I'm just off to <laughs> Disneyland. Oh. So. oh, well, there we go. So, yeah. It's that's that's what you fun. do when you've got your shit there. together. You go to... You go to Wait, is it th- it's Thursday, isn't it? Yeah. So we are doing this on the right day. I yeah, thought, I, the I, right I, day, yeah. Okay, so, yeah. All right, go gonna, off. I'm going to turn this one to silent because I forgot to do that. Did I... There we go. Some silent now. I think I think I did that in the car. No, it's on vibrate. Now it's on silent. Sweet. There we go. Um, <laughs> so yeah, Crap. we've got we've got a bit of comic book news. Yes. Actually, we've got it's <clears throat> mostly comic book news uh, today, and a trailer and some James Bond bullshit. So let's talk about the James Bond bullshit. Woo! It's bullshit. Yes. So it's basically, hilarious. <laughs> um, you could like you could put any name in here. Yeah. It's really stupid because they. The headline was James Bond, Matt Damon, and Jason Statham have both declined the, declined it, the role. It's basically, oh, you know this guy, he's yeah. not doing. It. Yeah, it's yeah. You know Steve down the road, he's not doing. It. Yeah, it's like <laughs> uh, yeah, it's like going, oh, John from the your local like supermarket, <laughs> he's, he's, he's not, not playing really James Bond. <laughs> it's like that's not improved my life in any way. Of course, Matt Damon's not going to be playing Bond. He's freaking Jason Bourne. It's like he's American rival. Bond. Yeah. He's a JB. Exactly. Yeah. He's already a JB. You're literally. In fact, Jason Bourne was probably Jason Bourne because James Bond, right? Yeah. Is that, is that, was well, it I, I, don't, I don't think... Or... That, yeah, especially on okay. uh, novel, but I'm not sure if... I mean, it's, a reason. it's probably a coincidence, but yeah. at the same time, it's, it's like... It's like Justin Bieber. There's also... It's the after James, James Bond. James Bond. <laughs> That's stupid. First thing that popped in my head, I don't know why. Yeah, no, I I, I thought Justin. Well, I was like <laughs> JB. I was like, ah, oh, Justin Bieber. Justin Jack Black. Jay, go Jack Black. Not 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 the next James Bond. No, he might be. It could be. It'd be Hope great. So. That'd, That'd be, be amazing. amazing. <laughs> All of his gadgets are music related. That'd be so good. <laughs> someone make American. Uh, someone make English Jack Black. Yes, the Bond villain is just the devil. <coughs> um, <laughs> Sarah hates the devil. But yeah. Yeah, Matt Damon's not going to be playing him, and and Jason Statham wouldn't want to play him. No, because he's like, is it transporter and stuff? Uh, really... he used to be. He's no longer part of that. I don't think. Oh, right. but he did, he kind of did that. Like, that was kind of James Bond, wasn't it? Was that kind of? Well, it was. I don't really know much it was about probably it. Probably as good as like as as it could be. I like indie sort of. <laughs> right. I'm not sure how indie uh, transporter was. Yeah, I think yeah. It was quite indie. Because I think that was one of. Statham's first action films and he like did all of his own stunts just because it was cheap oh right right so it's like but yeah they did three of those didn't they yeah no, yeah, yeah then they did. I think they gradually got less indie yeah what, more, more, studio. more Hollywood um <laughs> what what was I going to say yeah I just can't imagine him doing it because it's like if you imagine like Danny Dyer doing it it's just yeah. like kind of like yeah, name's Bond yeah James, James Bond. Bond like it's not gonna it's not gonna no. work you know you'd laugh yeah, yeah, I would laugh more. If than I saw, I... if I ever saw Jason Statham, <laughs> no, I wouldn't. I I wouldn't ever laugh at Jason Statham. Fuck that shit. Oh yeah, he fuck would that. He would kill you. He murdered me. He freaking killed a guy with a basketball, didn't he? In the first. No, no, no. In you, you're on about expendables, right? Yeah, yeah. No, he um he threatens a guy. Oh. With a knife. Oh, that's right. He stabs the and he the... stabs the basketball and it deflates and he mm. like just doesn't kill him. Or yeah, whatever. yeah. But yeah, uh, yes, that film. That's no, no, no. Terrible movies, but they're fun. Yeah, but it's like, well, you say that, but the first one was like dead serious. Like it was like they're crying over people, like I mean, obviously dying, but like they're like brooding about stuff that happens off screen and stuff. And it's 
Yeah. And then it just became fun. Yeah, and then the second one was well, fun. Well, the action was always fun. The action never took itself too seriously. Yeah, it was, yeah. Always, it was always, like, over the top. Like. Yeah, like, the, there was a bit where, I think, uh, Stallone's character gets, like, held up at gunpoint and then, like, Statham comes in with knives and shit and just yeah. like, kills everyone. Because for some reason he was the, the, the knife, knife guy. guy. It was called like Lee Christmas. But then also Mickey Rourke was the knife guy as yeah. well. They had like, they had like a rivalry a, going a on. A rivalry knife thing. Yeah. And then Mickey Rourke never had returned. Any, yeah, again. never had any action scenes, never returned. Because, I mean, he probably watched it and was like, oh, I'm, I didn't need this in my life. <laughs> yeah. Like everything else he's ever done. It just hates everything. Pretty sure he does. I don't know. It wouldn't surprise me. Um, Next up, okay, so let's do another bit of like no shit news. Um, Vin <laughs> right. Diesel has come out and said, "Oh yeah, that the Guardians of the Galaxy will be re- appearing in Infinity War." Yeah, it's just like, well, <coughs> duh. of course, right? of course, they're appearing. Mm. It's gonna be like a Cosmic Avengers film. You're not gonna not have the Cosmic <laughs> Avengers in it, are you? You know, <laughs> it's just like I feel like everyone in the news this week was just like. You know that thing that you know? This is that thing. It, it's, <laughs> it's happening, you know? It's like, oh, the water's wet. I don't know if you knew that. We're, we're doing the Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> the Olympics is happening and it's going to be in Japan next we, time. And also, as a treat, we're doing the Paralympics. Oh. So, I guess, mean, just know? in case, in case you're wondering. Just, you know, no one, no the, one. Well, because it was like, Back in 2015, at some point, I'm pretty sure they announced the Star Lord. I think that was this year. It was probably this year. Yeah, actually. I think we probably was... spoke about it. I'm, I'm pretty sure we we said about it on on this. Yeah, so it was like, oh, Star Lord's gonna be in Infinity War, and then we were sort of saying like, oh, does this mean that maybe he goes to Earth alone yeah. and stuff? But no, this the Guardians are in it as well. I mean, because why would they not be? Yeah, I, yeah. Because who, who doesn't want Groot and Rocket on Earth? Like, I want. I, I'm just looking. For, forward to the like the good 10 minute scene it's got <laughs> it's got to be a substantial it amount of time where rocket meets tony stark yeah and they just beat on each other it's just the most bizarre they're thing just they're just, they're just they're just like it's basically a rap battle yeah. between the two they they Very engineering terms <laughs> <laughs> they're just they're both designing weapons they're both like calling each other short and old and yeah. and it's just but the, it's the, the thing the is thing. though I feel like Rocket would win oh yeah Rocket's gonna win because he has like more advanced technology know-how I'm sure but I I, I don't care yeah well, I, I think just, that's a good thing though yeah. Tony Stark will get showed up like fuck I got beat by a, by a raccoon. raccoon that's gonna be cool we need to see that. Yeah, I'll we be need amazing. to pitch that. We need to make sure the Russos die. There are Russos. We'll replace the Russos. We will as the just, new directors. just disguise ourselves as the Russos. Yeah. Like, oh, you guys look weird. One of you is wearing glasses, probably. <laughs> <laughs> there's always one wearing glasses. I know there's, there's I think, a couple. Yeah, I think they both glasses. have glasses, but they interchange. Because you can't both wear glasses. That'd be too much. You know? It's like... <laughs> It's not the beginning of um, Harry Potter where you first meet the twins. They're like, I'm yeah. not Fred, I'm George. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I did like, an American English <laughs> accent. <laughs> Hello, Gavna, I'm, I'm George. And I'm not Fred, I X3, am. X3, X3, read all about it. <laughs> I'm English, I just do my own accent. Yeah, and no, just, one, no one would even... You would, yeah, you could you know, you could just do the same thing as you've always been doing. Yeah, and it would be a good impression. Uh, uh, Guardians, we know... We did. Vin Diesel confirmed it, so everyone else is just like, "Call Vin, we know, we know." Yeah, like, fuck off. Vin. Just tell us you're playing Black Bolt from the Inhumans, who doesn't speak. Yeah, who also says very little. Mm. Um, speaking of the Inhumans, mm. they're kind of like the Dark Avengers, and in DC. Which is also a comic... Fuck it out, did you see that? Yeah, something flew into the window. A bird it? flew into the window. What a dickhead. What an idiot. <laughs> it was like a blue tit. It just flew... In. Anyway, <laughs> carry on. That was amazing. Donk. We need, like, additional More cameras. cameras just to watch everything just around us. Just in case. Yeah, because then we get, like, time lapse and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out, out the window. It'd be, be great. great. Um, <laughs> Jesus. It's like what the slow-mo guys do. Like, they film everything on the slow-mo cameras, but they always have, like, ten cameras around them. So if anything happens, they can, like... Just catch it. Yeah, they can be like, oh, he fell over and burnt himself or something. Like. 
Yeah, what that. were you transitioning to? Sorry. Um, basically, Dark, uh, Dark Justice, Justice League is yeah. getting a movie, which mm. I think they're calling Dark Universe. Yeah, I think or yeah, something, yeah. or it's also known as Dark Universe. I don't, I don't know where that, that line is. Subset of something. But it's being like directed it. by Doug Lehman, or Lyman, mm. uh, who directed Edge of Tomorrow, okay. or Live Die Repeat, or. Yeah, there was a third name, I think. Or, like, Groundhog Day, but um, <laughs> on steroids. With aliens on steroids. Um, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, Jumbo, and apparently was connected to the Gambit movie. Yeah. But with a, with a Google of his name, it came out with news that he's left Gambit to direct this. Oh, right. So Gambit's fucked. Gambit is just dead. Gambit know? needs to just bury itself oh, and die. Just, just let what's his face go. Chad and Taylor. Chad and Taylor. Let him carry on with other stuff. Don't distract him with this Gambit crap. It's he was trying to get on the superhero bandwagon, and and I was okay with that. Yeah, I thought, but, yeah, you could be a good Gambit. Not like, with Gambit. Not with the X Men universe. You don't. You don't say, I want to join the superhero hype and get some money from an X Men film. You don't do that. That's He'd get paid stupid. either way. I don't think there's, a, there's, there's <laughs> yeah, ever going to be a situation where he doesn't get paid. Mm. Uh, uh, Channon, I know you put in like like three thousand hours of work <laughs> doing all this action stuff. But we're not paying you. The film made no money. <laughs> I'll buy you a meal. <laughs> <laughs> a frozen meal. I got a meal. It was an Amazon say. gift card. There you, there you go. Get oh, out. It's it's just like we're supposed to be talking about the Justice League, but like it's you don't you join these superhero films to sort of get more out of them. Like yeah, you become Iron Man to do ten films, you know. Like, yeah, and like the only the only reason I, the only like justified reason I could see of joining the X Men U would mm. be Deadpool. Mm. Would be yeah. Well, you can just hate on your own franchise because <laughs> fuck everything. Deadpool is part of the the X Men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the the, the X Men universe, like. Yeah, it's it's a weird one because it looks like it's set in the modern day, but obviously they're all stuck in like the eighties. Yeah. It's just like, what? The, how are they gonna? But is he part it? of? The. Like, if you just watch X Men Three. Oh, I see. Would that still be part of? Yeah, so this is maybe place Deadpool. Before... Would, is Deadpool part of the original timeline? Uh, well, the original timeline Deadpool was the the Sound Mouth shirt one. Wasn't it? Mm. it was like he was yeah, a mercenary, so. and then they but took when, him away and changed him. Although, yeah. so he, he's got to be part of the new timeline Deadpool because yeah, he's because yeah. Wolverine had bone claws in Days of Future Past. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's got to be in new timeline Deadpool. Yeah, I think I think it is. Yeah, it's the only way you could explain them being the same one. Yeah. Because I was having this argument with my brother the other day where he was like, there are two different characters. The X-Men Origin one and the the Deadpool Deadpool one. Like, no, they're the no, same they're character. The same. Just one of them was fucked up. Yeah, one of them was rubbish. One, one of them was, was ruined. Like, it's so it's like opposite ends of the spectrum how good and bad they are. It's like the, the Origins one was I, so The shit. Origin one definitely falls somewhere on the spectrum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> somewhere over there. The spectrum is here to here and it's it's... It's way over there. I was talking about the um the autistic like uh, the spec the uh, the are you uh, mentally disabled spectrum? But whatever, it's fine. Uh, it's been a while. We haven't I, we haven't had this banterous. Yeah, <laughs> we actually it's... haven't seen each other since the since the no. holiday, which is yeah about two weeks. Ago. We've seen everyone else. Yeah, how have I not seen you? How have actually, you seen I'm sure, everyone? I'm not sure if I've seen I've seen Jack. Uh, I think like I've seen Jack. Uh, Jack's just an elusive mystery though. Oh. Just sort of. Warps in and out of reality. <laughs> we did. Like, there was a scary moment the other day where I messaged you like, "We, we should probably do a lamp on this week." You were like, "Should we just not for another week?" Yeah, like, that's what. No. Happens. Yeah, that's what happens when you don't do things for a while. With me, it's just sort of like, I just sort of die. Admittedly, I was because I now upload the lamp pods, which is why this one's <laughs> taken a while. And um, well, or the the one before. Well, it was my while. fault because you needed to be. But yeah, I needed the end slate. But then, like, I got home. And I was like, I sort of put it all together. And I was like, fuck it. But then I started making the <laughs> start making the thumbnail again. And I was like, oh, I'm, this is I'm this is why I do this yeah. to like to continue editing bullshit. Well, when I said to you, I said, let's not do it this week. We'll do it next week. I then watched 
when I watched the podcast that you uploaded like yeah, later on yes, that same day, yes, yeah, yeah. that like got me into it. And I also watched the top ten again, and I was like, this is I like this. This is what we do, we don't do this for any other reason than we enjoy it. Yeah, and it well, and it was like the, the, it's weird watching the top ten one. We, this is such a tangent. But the top ten one, we look so young in that for some reason. We've like aged in like maybe I shave. <laughs> that's what it was. I think you had like a, a bit less of beard. Ah. It was still a beard, but it wasn't like thick. It was kind of like thin. I think my hair was a lot shorter. Well. Happiest I ever was we were on holiday was when someone referred to me as the one with the beard. Yeah, I was like, I've made it in my life. Mm. I could die happy. This boat could <laughs> sink, and I'd be, I'd be singing. You'd be like, yeah. <laughs> I'm um, there with the band playing them out. Like, <laughs> God, I'm like, let's it. jam, guys! <laughs> Woo! <Woo-hoo! Okay. laughs> um, but yeah, this this dark universe that that's being uh, assembled mm. way, <laughs> um, consists of. I think it's led by John Constantine. So maybe we're finally gonna get Constantine done right because mm. it's get Keanu Reeves back. <laughs> that can only go well. Get the guy from the TV show back. Every that can always. only go well. Yeah. Um, nah, Constantine is stupid. Um, it's it's bizarre because in the comics, I don't know if you know that it's about Constantine. Like you know, like how comics they just no one ages. Yeah. They just sort of everything is just it happens in five years over eighty years. Yeah. Like, it's ridiculous. But like Constantine was the only character that actually aged every year. Yeah, I seem to remember him being quite old. Like, yeah. At some point, he started off young and then like in the eighties, I think, and. Then, but then they rebooted it with New 52, so then he became young again. So it's just like, you just spent all those years making this old man get old. And then like, well, it's yeah. cool, because that like, gives them experience. Like it's, yeah. it's cool to have a comic book character. It's kind of interesting to... Oh, stops running. I thought that was about outside. I thought it was like a jet plane. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's cool to have a character who who has aged and like is sort of affected by everything mm. like you can't do that with everyone but then like does he refer to events that they perceive as being like two weeks ago that were actually 20 years ago does he go like 20 years ago you fucking blah. I don't know and then they're like what are you on about like, well, yeah, last it's, week it's, it's hard to, to like then mix him with the rest of the yeah how does it the how does universe it if it uh, as long as like if his comic was standalone at any point like it, that would be cool but yeah I don't know. yeah it's very silly. I think that's comics why, are silly. That's why the movies work so well. I think is because everyone's getting older as it goes along. It's just yeah. Sort of like like Tony has these experiences and lives with them. Yeah, like P- well. the whole I I always say this, but the whole PTSD thing in mm. in Iron Man three, I I thoroughly enjoyed. It. I thought that yeah. was really. Yeah, well, it makes really sense. Cool like it was believable and stuff. Yeah. Like that, so. Uh, so yeah, other other characters in this uh, would be uh, Madame Zanandu Zan Zanadu. <laughs> X A N A D U. No one cares. That one. Dead man. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> is it like a zombie? I don't know. Is this a dead I man? Should probably, I should probably Google all dead of these. Dead man. <laughs> <laughs> We're, uh, like, so- where's Jim? Which one? <laughs> dead Jim. Dead Jim. There is. We've assembled the Justice League. We've got a dead Superman. Guy. Just- <laughs> Superman. Is- it's Superman. Dead man is Superman. <laughs> <laughs> they dug him up. He's just there. Like, no, we, we got we got the dead man. As the Tana Raven <laughs> Frankenstein and Swamp Thing. Same Raven. Raven. Oh, that's cool. From the Teen Titans. Thing. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm. Okay. 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 That's cool, cool. 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 And Swamp Thing. Swamp Thing. Isn't that a bad guy from Scooby Doo? Uh, <laughs> I think. Well, the thing is, it might be because like. Both Warner Brothers. It could be that kind of. I don't know, well, I know they up. did the crossover with like Adam West Batman. Yeah. Oh, this is a perfect transition. I it? know, but we're we're not we're not there yet. <laughs> Mention <laughs> Scooby Doo later. Oh, I'll bring it back. Up. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Well, the, I no, I know what you're on about. I seem to remember that. Yeah, there's there's definitely like a Scooby Doo meets Batman. But there's also like a Clayface. Like, like there's like Clayface in Batman, but there's also like kind of like a. Clayface in Scooby Doo as well. Is yeah, it like, a, like a tar. Yeah, thing? tar man. Is it tar or something like Tarzan? You need some food, man. I know. <laughs> Just woke up. But um, have you not eaten? Mm-mm. That is a mistake. Oh well, bum. Oh well. But yeah, it. Get food in a bit. I don't know. Like none of these characters do I recognise. Is this just going to be another situation of like Suicide Squad assembling the team in the first movie, like, or like Justice League? You can't really do Frankenstein. Yeah, like, because, well, I mean, you could. Something I feel like would just feel like Killer Croc. 
Yeah, not probably. Really. It's just like the dead man just version. there, like constantly just not, being not dragged moving. around on a leash. <laughs> Come on, mate. <laughs> Why um, did we bring this guy? <laughs> who would you cast as Constantine in the in this DCU then? Uh, well, I guess you'd have to start young. You'd have to have Constantine would have to be your Tony Stark, I guess. Really. I feel your like kind of like through line character. So. I feel like I'm not sure whether he'd, he'd do it. I I mean. You wouldn't get asked anyway. I I don't know why I'm considering whether or not they do it. What? Because it's stupid. What? <laughs> Robert Downey Jr. No, 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 no. no um, which would be good, I think. But yeah, that would be a happen. cool thing. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe Ryan Gosling. Oh yeah. <laughs> I no, that's that like could, good. That could look really good. Yeah. Especially after seeing him in um Nice Guys, where he sort of got like the braces and he's like. That'd be fucking cool. That'd be really awesome to see. I, I want that right now. Yeah. I think he'd be be, amazing. I think he would be really good at it. Yeah, but it just seemed, it, I was thinking this the other day. Like, it seems to be that every Hollywood actor needs to be like, like not every Hollywood actor, but like a lot of the notable ones are. They do a lot of like interesting, cool movies mm-hmm. and like all that stuff. But then they also have they have a superhero character they portray. So it's like they play the superhero, then they go do some other they Hollywood stuff, stuff, and then um, they come back and do the superhero. The superhero yeah. So it could be Ryan Gosling's. Could be. He plays Constantine, does his other cool stuff, and then comes back to play Ryan. Yeah. Like, um, Constantine, or whatever he's called. John. John, yeah. John Constantine, that's it. Yeah, I think... going to say Ryan Const- Constantine. It would be cool to see. I think he could probably do it. I think he could grow, else he could go, it. grow a good moustache. Yeah. No, he like, really would be perfect for that role, I think. I can't think of anyone else who could... Well, I, I sort of thought maybe... Like Jake Gyllenhaal. I was just thinking Jake Gyllenhaal. I feel like we'd all, whenever we mention casting ideas, yeah, it's, it's like, just oh, let's just get Jake, Jake Gyllenhaal <laughs> to do Gosling it. to do it. Um, but yeah, I just think I I think like got something to call. I think that is a that. really good shout, and I don't think I could think of anyone else. No. like to, I can just see that. Yeah, like that's the, what I'm the smoking the cigar or a cigarette or whatever he smokes, and like it'd just be perfect. I think I might put put that in the uh, the thumb. The old, yeah. the old thumbnail. Yeah, make make a mock up Ryan Gosling Constantine. Yeah, I'll do that. Do that'd that be, That'd be cool. Um so yeah. Next up with more comic book movie news. Um Scooby Scooby Doo. No, that's not yet, mate. Oh, oh, shit. Fuck shut up. Um You're ruining you ruined the you're ruining the transition. You're losing. They're, not, oh. they're not they're not they're not suspecting. <laughs> Suspecting, expecting, all the things. Suspect, suspecting, great expecting. Um, so, someone was on the set of Thor Ragnarok. Oh, yes. This is my favourite story. With, a, with, a, with a snappy, mm. a snapperoo. Taking some... The thing is, it's like, it, like, before you sort of continue, it's like, it's not like he snuck on and was just like, shit, fuck, like running around. <laughs> he was right. Like, he went up to, like, he had a picture with Thor, Loki, and the director. Like, they're all posing, like, hey. So, uh, I don't know who this guy is or how he got out of that, like, picture, but yeah, kind of. Um, did you see the, oh, there's also more news about Thor, Ragnarok. So, I'll say that first, because otherwise okay. I'll forget. Um, did you see the picture of Thor with short hair? Yeah, he's, like, shaved, is he? He's, he's got, he's got very short hair now for this film. Yeah, yeah. Which will like, probably he wears happen a wig on Ragnarok, you know? like, on mm. Planet Hulk or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whenever that definitely happens. Whenever, whenever that, that storyline happens. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's, he's, yeah, he's, he's, all, he's all got short hair. Yeah, um, well. there's not really much we can say about this. He has short hair. Also, Lo- uh, what hairdresser did he use? Tom for? Hiddleston and uh, Chris Hemsworth took a selfie very similar to the first selfie they yeah, took. Yeah, yeah. It's together really weird because they look form. like babies in yeah. the first picture. And then this like, one, they both got like a bit of like, like not stubble, but you could tell that now maybe Tom Hiddleston shaves. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's finally, like, it's weird. Like you can just see like where <laughs> the hair would be. Like uh, it's so weird because he's in black. He's like in a full black suit, so it just yeah. makes him look more pale. He's probably in makeup, maybe or something. Probably, it's probably a very tan man. Yeah, probably, yeah. Yeah. He's probably a. Well, he looks, he looks very tanned in the Skull Island trailer. Actually, then he's got that sort of like jungle sweat tan. Yeah. Look, like, but, um, Someone's been spraying in yeah, like, t- between takes. Gotta catch you wetter or whatever. Gotta oil you up. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, like groundskeeper Willie yeah. in, in that episode of The Simpsons where he slides through the vents. Oh Is yeah. I seem to remember seeing yeah. that being repulsed. Should, I think it's a I think it's a meme or something now. Oh, it's right. like yeah, oil me up. <laughs> 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 <Nice>. <laughs> it's so stupid. 
the other thing about that that sort of side by side picture of like them in Thor one and then there hit them in Thor three, it's like it's you you get to see the like blonde eyebrows yeah, again, I know. and it's like who thought that was a good idea? Kenneth Branagh. It looks so stupid. Kenneth, Damn Kenneth it, Branagh. Kenneth Branagh. I thought, thought it was a ah oh, you dingus. <laughs> Speaking of him, I actually not a tangent again. I, I rewatched the twenty twelve Olympic opening ceremony. Okay. I don't know why, but he's in it. Oh, is he? Oh yeah, he he plays is is in borrowed kingdom Brunel. Oh okay. It's like stood on. It's so cool. It's such a good opening. Yeah, I, know, I was talking about this the other day. day. Yeah, I was like, well, we. I mean, the industrial revolution bullshit was a bit bullshit. I like that. It was it was cool, and it was cool to see it transition into like yeah. whatever. But like, because they're like just rolling up the grass. Yeah, like <laughs> after that, like when everything just took off, I was like, this is insane. Oh yeah. How have we done this? Yeah. And then Jesse J walks on and ruins Queen forever. I think that was in the closing oh, time. Yeah. I, well, I mean, I didn't see it in the Maybe. opening, so it might have been. Yeah, but I, I did skip the bit where they bring out all the the teams because obviously I don't care about that. Oh, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. obviously the Olympics okay. happened 40 years ago. Yeah. I, so like, she might have came out during that bit and ruined it. But. Doubt it. And it was probably the closing. It's probably, I'm, I'm probably, I mean, yeah. it's been, it's been four years. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, kind of, it's just cool because kind of Brown is just walking around like, like the camera occasionally just goes back to him and he's just looking at everything and all, obviously in character, just like, like acting, fuck, like, doing that thing. Yeah, just smoking a cigar. Like everyone around him is like dancing and he's just walking through like, this is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I love my life. <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> it's so good. Um, but yeah, yeah, so this photographer who was going around on yeah. the set of Thor Ragnarok, in what seems to be like a New York City... Mm, yeah, so the, I think they're filming in... Where they always film for, like, New York for some reason, which is in... I think it's in Atlanta? Maybe. I can't remember where it is, but it's somewhere where it's a bit cheaper to film, obviously. Than yeah, well, like, you don't have to shut down the streets. And yeah, exactly. Well, like, they, they actually filmed in London, but was dressed up... Uh, for Doctor Strange, they they filmed in London, dressed up as New York. Oh, okay. So it's like, they'll, they'll just film New York anywhere. That's basically. cool. They're like, fuck it. As long as we got yellow taxis, we'll just... Who cares, you yeah. know? Well, like... Um, I don't know where... <coughs> World War Z is set. Uh, all over the place, isn't it? Yeah, but the... Like, the beginning, the, the Brad Pitt, like, oh, his right. home. But that's all filmed in Edinburgh. Oh, yeah, it was, yeah. Yeah, so it's just... That was, like, two years before the film came out as well. Yeah. Like, they they, yeah, like, oh, yeah, they filmed that, like, super fucking early. Yeah, yeah. Where it was like the whole it, like they didn't think it would release and then it did. But it made sense because then they ended up back in Scotland anyway. Oh, right. At the the uh, doctor, the the World Health Organization. Yeah, yeah. I'd be really curious to sort of watch that film, but they put a timestamp on when everything was filmed just to see how far back everything yeah. was done and like how far apart everything was. But yeah, this freaking picture. <laughs> so yeah, it's basically a picture of Hemsworth from like behind to see his. Big shoulders, mm. big, big broad, nice little ponytail, I think. Uh, yeah, it? yeah. Got a little ponytail. And he's holding a, a piece of paper. Mm. It's very similar, in fact, to the, the, the Doctor Strange joke where it's like, here's the Wi Fi password. Yeah, because Sam showed it to me. I was like, is that the Wi Fi password? Mm. And, and uh, what it says on it is uh, 177A Bleecker Street. Bleecker Street. Which is, of course... The home address of one Dr. Philip Strange. Yeah. It's Philip, it's Philip, Philip Strange. Strange. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is... Is it the Sanctum Sanctuary or something? Yeah, I forget what his like, house is called. I think it's, it's something to do with like, the window, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like the Sanctum... The, the Mystic Mansion. Yeah, we'll go with that. So the Mystic Mansion <laughs> is on this place. But it's like, why is Thor... Looking for this place. Maybe that's his way home. Yeah. Well, that's how he gets around. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe like Heimdall gets taken out, and he's like, "We need to find this guy." I mean, he was look- he was looking for the the Tesseract in in Avengers to to take him and Loki home. Yeah, that's a good point. And I have sent it off. I know not where. Well, it's interesting that you should say that because I'm like I'm thinking, if this they so like they've all been saying that Ragnarok will be the sort of Winter Soldier of Phase Three in that <laughs> it's gonna switch everything up so much so and it will take place like straight after age of ultron uh so it's like it happens concurrently with civil war and then i guess after that maybe okay so this is what they're up to yeah this is like meanwhile in space it's like i f- wish it sounds Hulk. like that <laughs> <laughs> like it's got them fighting in germany spider-man like, 
Meanwhile. <laughs> Far away in a different land. It's like Thor and Hulk's face. Like. <laughs> You've got so many good transitions. <laughs> Took us something else to talk about after this. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh shit, Fuck. it all fits perfectly. No, but, um, <laughs> it's because it's like culture. We're talking about something you'll see. It won't speak about it, but yeah. No. So, is it? What it is? What he's doing? Looking for the Infinity Stones. So if because there's rumor that it's in the Eye of Agamotto. Yeah. yeah. So if like the mines, uh, is it? Yeah. Uh, what's no, it? His... Soul or time is the two we're waiting for. I think he, his is going to be soul. Yeah, it's probably going to be soul in it because it's like magic. But yeah, so if it like the eye of whatever is Infinity Stone, is he going there to be like, bro, can I have that please? Give me, give me a necklace. <laughs> give me the fucking Where'd necklace. Where'd you get this? Claire's accessories? Oh, 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 go to the bitch. Fucking you know, charm bracelet. Little oh, bitch ass bitch. Shit. Like, gave you that your mom bitch what happened to Thor between films he's just know, he's a like, bitch bitch played by Aaron <laughs> <laughs> Aaron Paul <laughs> bitch there was, there's another behind the scenes uh, bit of footage actually in that same sort of filming location where so the, it, it's Loki in his suit and then Thor in his like casual attire and yeah. then like a girl goes up to him and it's like can I get a selfie and it, like she gets a selfie with Thor and then she's just like walking away like, see ya. And she like walks into Loki. She's like, oh shit. And he's just like staring at her. <laughs> it's like really cool. <laughs> that would be terrifying. <laughs> it would be just like, holy shit, you were in New York. Like, like, about the big horns as well. <laughs> yeah. Just for that one moment just brings him back. <sighs> ah! No, he's just in like that black suit. For, okay. his, his incognito is like black suit. And then Thor's is always like a jumper with a hoodie. and like Yeah, or like... like like a cool blazer, but the, the sleeves. Are oh cool. yeah, like, yeah. Like something dank like that. Yeah. But yeah, that's cool. That I mean, it, it makes sense that people. It makes be... sense that that Thor would meet Stephen Strange. Mm. That sort of makes sense to me. Do you reckon they could? They might face off. If he's like killing high the stone, and he's like, "Fuck off, mate!" I'm like a second and just does some magic on him. <laughs> <laughs> that's what magic that's is. the one that's the uh, well, look, and then like, like and then, <laughs> just a door falls over oh fuck but behind Stephen Strange it's like, it's like, I'm still learning it's like, like, I'm very early in my stages <laughs> watch my movie you know I'm not my hands good. are a bit shaky yes, I'm sorry that's an accident you know um but yeah it's cool yeah it makes sense for these two to meet yeah like oh, really yeah sorry what were you saying well I was gonna say um, really Stephen Strange could be any of these characters. Yeah. And it would, it would make sense. Yeah. Because he's sort of, he's probably got that, like, like, Tony and him probably have something in common, and then he's got that sort of magic-y side with Thor, and then, yeah. like, science with, uh, like, Hulk and stuff. Like, he, he would fit in weirdly quite well with a lot of people. Yeah, like, and I feel like even, like, the Winter Soldier finding him, like, yeah. and just being like... I think, actually, no, Captain America is probably the hardest one to... Yeah. But at the same meet. time... But you could do it yeah like it's, it's so it's quite easy to forget that the first Captain America like our introduction to Captain America had like magic space Nazis well not space Nazis but like magic sort of Nazis. laser beam Nazi people which now belong to S.H.I.E.L.D. yes you sneaky bastard S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, yeah, that's oh, all yeah. we can really say about that he might meet Doctor Strange it might be in an after credits which would be disappointing but... yeah that would be sucky it would be cool yeah. to see some it's that no, we, we get Doctor Strange first. Yeah. So uh, if, if it's an after credit, I'm fine with that. Yeah. I mean, Perhaps it's an after credit in Doctor Strange. Oh, that's a point. Yeah. Hmm? I go. have come looking for you, Doctor Strange. There you go. That's a good point. Yeah. Hmm? Holy yeah. shit. Got you there. Hmm? Yeah. Bitch. They're leaving it pretty late, though, if, if that is... If well, I mean, I mean, a lot of the time it was sort of... There, there has been a few occasions, I think, where well, it's just they, clips of the next film. Yeah, yeah, like the Thor one. Yeah. was the server we found it. Yeah. Like, it was like... That was so, I mean... Fun. They just chuck them in after. Mm. What was like the the um, the Avengers after credits that was in America only, which was the Eating the Shawarma? They filmed that on the premiere. So that was like properly cutting it close. That's weird. Like, Chris Evans had a beard, so they were like, can you just sit like that? So we can't <laughs> see your beard. And he's just eating the shawarma like that. <laughs> It's, it's, it's just is he wearing a wig in that one? Yeah, I think yeah, I think he's got a wig on because he had like shaved head as well. Sweet. I mean, 
and then like Chris Hemsworth has like shrunk because he hasn't been working out so he's just in this like yeah because he was really skinny armor. for Heart of the Sea yeah yeah to get that sort the, of the Moby Dick story mm. was, well I say really skinny he was skinnier than average yeah than average him. Hemsworth yeah um so yeah there was a trailer for Rings which is a horror film I think by M. Night Shyamalan is it by M. no is it I think the first one was oh I was gonna say I'm not sure if this one is but... oh <laughs> um yeah it looks scary it, it looks scary yeah. enough I mean it looks it's the same scary. as the first one I don't really like horror films I don't really care. No. So let's just go on to the fun yeah. thing we want to talk about now. Well, I, just, I, was, uh, I was going to say about the horror thing. Okay. It was like, because for a while early on in the channel, you were trying to get us to play some horror games. Yeah. And I was just adamant that we're not doing it because I can't, I can't do it. I physically can't. Yeah, Which is you, probably why the, the videos would be perfect. They do so well. They would do so well. It would be I, I don't want to put myself through that. I, the video doesn't end and I just go back to normal. I'd have like PTSD, like, Ugh. We should, we should, we should try one at some point. We really should. Leave in the comments if you want us to play some yeah, horror games, some, some sort of horror movie game. Uh, no one comment, please. <laughs> um, I mean, I know enough, so I know, I know enough of them. I really want to play Dead by Daylight. Right. Have you seen any, any of the no, gameplay for that? It's, it's basically you. You got like two teams. One of them's got like a group of people on it, and one of them's just one person. Right. And a group of people are both trapped in, oh, trapped in this like gated area. Sorry, I'm gonna attack. And they have fly. all these like generators that they have to turn on to be able to open the gates. Okay. And the person on his own is a murderer. Oh shit. And he's like going around trying to kill everyone. Oh no. <laughs> ama- like it's just there's some fucking brilliant gameplay of it just because it's it's like it's just hunting. Yeah, yeah. And like there's like heartbeats and stuff, so you can hear if the murderer's like. Close and oh, whatever. It sounds terrifying. It's really, it's, it is. It's, it's, watch some YouTube of it. Watch like a funny YouTube channel and play it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's the best way to watch horror. What was it called? Dead by Daylight. Dead by Daylight. Yeah. So yeah, it's just, just a bit of oh, fun. I see. So it's like, uh, dead by the morning. Yeah. Uh, okay. Cool. Um. Ooh, so yeah. Uh, <laughs> um. So Scooby Doo. Woo, Scooby Doo. <laughs> uh, and, and the thing, uh, the, they're making another Adam West Batman. Yeah, but obviously they're too old to portray them in real life. So, so doing... we've got animated animation. Mm. It looks like it's like it's like exactly the same kind of animation team as this been doing all the other yeah, DC stuff. It, yeah, it looks like it. <clears throat> you could probably if you if you really tried you could do like a merge between Killing Joke and yeah and wow Return someone do King that Crusaders. that'd be amazing. But it's it's that'd be terrifying. There's so, there's such a weird sort of definitive style about it like. During action sequences, for some reason, you can tell that they deliberately add in shaky cam, even though it's like animation. Yeah. Like, when they're fighting, there's like a, there's always like a little shake. Yeah, there's definitely a consistency about it. Yeah. It's, I, I, I love this idea. I think it's, mm. what it's a great nostalgic. Thing to do. It's, it's, it's crazy. It's ridiculous, which is all I want from the DC universe at the moment. I want a bit of fun. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's probably. The last chance they have of doing it, really, isn't it? Like in, yeah. a, in the darkest way, like Adam. They West, don't have long, long to do it for sure. Mm, like Adam West is quite old now, I think. Yeah, but he's still he's still doing a lot of voice acting. Oh, yeah. I mean, of Family Guy. But he's like um he's like a meme at this point. He's a living meme. Oh yeah. Because everything he's done, every bit of voice acting that he's done in anything recently is just like. Fairly Odd Parents. He he played someone called I think it was like Wadham Est or something. It was it's just like stupid. It was like Catman. I don't know if you ever saw it, but yeah, and he like he just played himself. And yeah. then in he, he's become like a caricature. Of yeah, and he's himself. he's Mayor Adam West, right? Yeah, yeah. In he, the, is, he, is, he is Adam West. Adam West. It's just yeah, he's Adam just played West. the same character for his whole life. Cause he was, cause it start. I feel like it started with The Simpsons. Wait, they, they, they went to like a comic con or whatever I yeah. think Homer buys a car at this thing and, and he's there with the Batmobile and he's like signing pictures so he's, like, he's just there like yes I'm Adam West <laughs> I'm Batman he's like Sh- the what no Adam West go away get out of my life <laughs> go be old somewhere go and enjoy your retirement but please don't leave me because we love you Adam. we love you Adam West so is the guy playing Robin the same guy? yeah I think so yeah I think yeah I mean, it always surprised me because he was, of course, like younger than Adam yeah. West. So. But it's just funny because it's like, obviously they're keeping it consistent to the start of the original TV show. So he's just running around in speedos again. <laughs> it's just like, 
It's just weird. <laughs> but funny, I suppose. It just reminds me of the um, the Lego movie. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> These are tight. I cannot look at you right now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that's going to be another one. Like, we're actually getting some fun Batman stuff. Yeah. Now, like. Not so, well, the thing is, we say that, but like Batman was the best part of the Justice League. Yeah, uh, he was, of Batman v And Superman. he was fun. Yeah. Well, he wasn't even fun. He was terrifying and scary. But he was at least more fun than everyone else yeah, was having. Yeah. I think... <laughs> like he was enjoying himself, at least. I think the most worrying thing about everything DC is that they might as well just be Batman. Because mm. there's like... 10 different versions of Batman that they can do and they can just have them all go in and like you know like well yeah like anime Batman yeah. all the an- none of the anime Batmans unless they're specified are related hmm. they've all usually they've got there's a lot of different voice actors there's yeah. the Batman games hmm. like you've got the Arkham games I think they've stopped that now though yeah I think for a while they'll um, probably bring it back with but at the moment there's a, a Telltale Batman game which is really cool yeah some of the, some of the I've, I've seen uh is that out, is it? Oh. Well, um, I think so. And I've or seen the gameplay of it, so. Okay, yeah. And, like, it was, like, full gameplay. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, no, the guy in the video, because I was watching, it was Rooster Teeth, and one of the guys from there was like, yeah, I, I bought this yesterday, but I still haven't played it, so I, I guess it's out. <laughs> yeah, makes um, sense. But, yeah, it's... It's just, yeah, that's it, a cool game. It's, beca- it's weird, because, like, Batman... Batman is just... He's got to the point now where he's almost like Sherlock Holmes level of like that kind of known. Yeah. He's almost like Mickey Mouse in a sense. Yeah. He's kind of, he's everyone massive. knows who Batman is. Yeah. Like you can just do different versions of him and no one cares. Which is, it's... It's what, a unique position. Yeah. It's a cool position but at the same time it's probably one of the reasons that it's so damaging for DC is because like how do you... How do you consistently make good Batman? Yeah, but like, how, yeah, how do you exactly? And it's like they're now making Adam West, which like would be cool, I'm sure. Yeah, like, it's all good, but they, they're trying to bring in the Justice League, and it's not. They don't know how to do anyone else. They've been doing Batman for so long, so well. Yeah, exactly. So well, like they've got it down to a T at this point. So they don't know how to bring anyone else in because for some reason all they ever did was Batman. Well, they wanted. They they obviously wanted to start with a Batman movie, the new DCU. Mm. They they wanted to start it with a Batman movie, yeah. but they couldn't because the last thing DC did mm. was Batman. But at the same time, why couldn't they? Because I feel like I feel like it would have just been like a massive like. Mm. Just, oh, the Batman. Yeah, yeah that's because they did it with Spider Man and people didn't mind, I guess. But then they rebooted it again. So. Well, they did it to keep it. So. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. And uh, yeah, it's. Every time I think about it, it just bothers me that they could have done... That this universe is already ruined. They've killed Superman already. And like, it's just... it's. And yeah, he'll come back. You know what we should talk about? What should we talk about? Suicide Squad. Oh yeah, we saw Suicide Squad. Oh, should we talk about that next week? Because we're getting to our limit. Yeah, we are. Oh, fuck. Mm. Nice. So, next time on The Lampard. Suicide Squad. We'll discuss squad. Suicide Squad. Oh. Do, 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 do. Suicide Squad. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we'll leave it to next week. Did we like it? It's hard to say. Did we hate it? It's hard. That's easy to say. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, it was. Uh, it was a. It was definitely a movie. Maybe we'll do a review of it as well. Probably not. It's a bit late at this point. Hey, look, look it's a t-shirt. Wow, the font on this one looks vaguely similar to that one. Yeah, that's pretty weird. This is the other lamppost t-shirt, of course, because we're actually filming this all in the Bronx. New York could be the same could be, um, could be. I have to say but do yeah. you know fonts Come leave in the comments what the fonts of these two t-shirts are we know what that one is we don't know what this one is it's Lee Waddle if anyone cares but uh, yeah thank you very much for watching leave in the comments something about how you enjoyed your day and see us next week where we'll talk about Suicide Squad in depth with spoilers and stuff so thank you very much for watching Cheers. Cheers.